United 2, Lask 1. Let's start with the positives. We won 7-1 on aggregate. It's over. That was a horrendous game of football to watch. Anthony Martial getting his 23rd goal of the season. Jesse Lingard 2-2. Two two. Not many real positives to take from what was a massively, massively crap performance from United. And for me, the main focus of this whole match reaction has to be on the need for new signings because Manchester United's starting eleven is fantastic. Up there with the best in the league. But we finished third this season and our goal now are the two teams above us, Manchester City and Liverpool. And you look at their squads and you, you take certain players out, they've got the backups for them, especially City. City's squad is ridiculous. Their backup eleven could probably compete with our starting eleven. But that, that team that went out there today, one matter, Jesus, he's past it, isn't he? I feel sorry for it. Well, I feel a little bit sorry for him, not that sorry for him. Got the assist, but horrendous today. Dan James, his final ball really is atrocious. So many opportunities today that Uncle Igalo should have had and didn't have. Igalo had our first shot on target. Could have scored from that, maybe. It was a great goal from Lask. Can't remember the name, not the guy's name who scored it. Don't really care. But I want to focus on that point I've just made there because you know people saying I'll start 11 looking at Greenwood and Martial and Rashford think, oh, maybe we don't need Jaden Sancho so much. Hell yeah, we need Jaden Sancho. Hell yeah, we need another central midfielder. Hell yes, we need another centre-back. This squad has gone to its absolute peak this season if we win the Europa League. Finishing third and winning the Europa League is the absolute maximum that Ole Gunnar Solskjaer will achieve with this current squad of players. What we need now is quality in key positions. And right wing, you saw it there tonight. Imagine that was Jaden Sancho on that right-hand side instead of Dan James or Waimata and his final balls into the box. Igalo literally would have got a hat-trick. That's how much of a difference Sancho would have made there. And if you look at central midfield, Scott McTominay and Fred, both very poor today, really. I can't really pick on any individual because we were all largely crap. It was good to see Tenor Mengi get his debut. I'm, I'm, I'm as excited to see how Mengi comes through as I was about Tuan Zebe. He went on loan to Villa and had a stunning season. And this season is just unlucky for him and knee injuries. But it'll be exciting to see what happens with Mengi. But he's got a debut, so he'll remember that. So congratulations to Mengi. But it was a largely forgettable performance in what was a largely forgettable match. United were 5 0 up after the first leg. Tonight was like a pre-season exhibition match. It was just, we just needed not to lose by five goals and we were through to the Europa League quarterfinal, which we are now. And let's see what goes on there. Lukaku bagging his 30th goal for the season for Inter. You know we're playing Inter at some point in this tournament and hopefully we're knocking them out. But I just want everybody to agree with me because I think I'm right on this and I think you all know it anyway. The quality is there in our starting 11. I think if that starting 11 could play every single week, we'd be up there with one of the best teams in the league. In term, maybe not defence, but as we've seen this season, that team is not capable of playing every single week. We got we were exhausted. And as soon as we ran out of steam and energy, the momentum left United. What we need now is key signings in key positions to improve the overall quality of the strength of the squad so that Ole Gunnar Solskjaer... When we, because look, next year we're in the Champions League, man. We're not going to be playing Lask in the Europa League. The quality of the opposition that we're playing midweek is going to be just as good, if not better, than the quality of the opposition we play in the Premier League at the weekend. So we need a squad that's capable of playing quality teams three times a week. And at the moment, we do not have that. And if we don't invest properly this summer, we're going to be left short. Ole Gunnar Solskjaer has done the hard task of getting this job, of getting this team, sorry, into the Champions League next year. We have that. So to build on that, we need new signings to take this squad up a level. Because as I said, if we win the Europa League, that is the peak of where this team can go under Ole Gunnar Solskjaer with his current set of players. Fair play to Jesse Lingard getting a goal, I suppose. Two and two for him. I would probably get rid of other players in the squad before I would get rid of Jesse Lingard, but I also don't want Jesse Lingard really to play for Manchester United anymore. I just don't think he's got the quality, but I would certainly, I would probably shift one matter first because Lingard, I suppose, suits the style, it's faster style that we've got under Ole Gunnar Solskjaer. It's working so well with Greenwood, Martial, Rashford, Pogba and Bruno. But let me know what you think about that match below. In the comments below, sorry, Anthony Martial, as I said, getting 23rd goal of the season. Scrappy goal, but that's the big thing I've loved about Martial this season. He's not just scoring worldies. He's scoring 
tapping sometimes. He's scoring ones where he's running to the to the front of the six yard box to get on the poking across. And he's scoring worldies. And he's playing with his back to the goal. He's really developed into a proper number nine, I think, this season. And it'll be interesting to see if he can continue that next year. But the signs are good. But who was your man of the match there? United 7-1 on aggregate. We were always going through tonight. It was an exhibition game. But United need new signings in a variety of positions to strengthen the quality of this squad outside that starting eleven. Whether that's in signing squad players to improve the overall squad or signing players like Sancho to improve the starting eleven to push someone like Greenwood down into somebody who can play in that position but won't be relied on every single week, which he shouldn't be for Mason Greenwood. Too young for that anyway. But let me know what you think in the comments below. 7-1, easy after the second half. First half was abysmal, much better in the second half, but it was always going to be a pre-season feeling in front of an empty crowd after 5-0 in the second leg of Europa League round of 16. It's exactly what it turned out like. But at least we won. And at least that game is over, so we haven't got to watch any more of it because it was like pulling teeth at times, wasn't it?